Okay friends, I'm going to show you how to put together um, an easy pom-pom garland. And if you watched my previous tutorial about how to make these pom-poms um, using these pom-pom makers. And the key to this is if you want to just tie it onto your string for your garland, you can leave these ends long. I trimmed them down in the video. Um, but if you want to leave them long and then you can just tie it on, that would be super easy. I trimmed most of mine, so I'm going to trim these and I will show you how I'm going to put it together using hot glue. pom pom off here okay so I kind of have a little I kind of laid these out how I wanted them for my garland and I kind of gauged how big I want it so I'm gonna move these up a little bit I'm gonna grab my string I'm using just this Baker's twine um, it's kind of just a cream color and it's got a little silver fleck and I thought that would be pretty for the 4th of July because um, this kind of patriotic colors is what I'm doing this for so I'm gonna go ahead and trim my garland so I know or trim my string so I know exactly how long I want it and then I'm just gonna start gluing on my little pom-poms and how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna kind of peel back so that it's kind of open a little bit and I'm gonna just put a glob of hot glue on there and then I'm gonna go ahead and place my string over tight so I don't know if you can kind of see that that way when it dries, it'll be secure in there. I'm gonna scoot that one over, and I'm gonna just start applying the next one, um, the same kind of way. I apologize, I'm sitting by the window and the sun is coming out, so it's messing up my lighting. It was a cloudy day and I thought it'd be perfect time to film the tutorial, but that's just how it goes. Once again, you kind of just put a glob of hot glue in there and decide where you want to place your string on the banner and then just press down and just slide it over so that these can just dry in their system. Next, this little light blue guy, 